And on today's collectible spot, we're going to be looking at something a little interesting, a little different as it were. We're going to be looking at the Dagadar Supercharged Ball Bearings. This, my friends, represents something. Get a good look at it now, because I'm pretty sure this is getting totally recalled. Totally recalled. Why would you say that, Spot? We'll, we'll delve further into that statement as we get this reviewed. Um, Package-wise, it's your standard variety of collectible. Right up there with the, what, Bakugan, uh, Mighty Beans. It shows on the front what actual bearings, what actual Dagadars you get on the front here. And again, we'll get into that as we get this opened up. Comes with two display stands. Somehow, it has Dimension 33, unleash the spirit within. Let's zoom the camera in, shall we? In release, right there. Unleash the spirit within at www.dagadar.com. And apparently it references some sort of Dimension 33. Now there were several varieties. I picked this up at Walmart. It wasn't out in the open either. I was just happened to walk down the aisle. I think I was down with the Lego and stuff. And I happened to find this. And see what we got here. Imported by Walmart. Walmart Canada. Made in China. You can collect them all. My light is extremely bright. Hopefully it's not going to be too blinding in this review here. We have several tracks that you guys can choose from. We've got rapid fire, a rapid fire power launcher. We've got so a carrying case, vortex spinners. We've got some battle jumps there. But again, you can collect them all. I do like the little guy that's up at the top there. It looks like a little gremlin. I think he looks kind of cool. Supercharged ball bearings. Hmm, experience it. Experience it. What we're going to do, though, we are going to experience this. I'm going to get this opened up. We are going to have a look at the Dagadar Supercharged Ball Bearings. Stay tuned, guys. There's more on the way. Before we look at the two Dagadars, it does come with a pamphlet, as it as with most collectibles seem to do. If I open this up here, let's maybe zoom the camera back here so you guys can actually see it. Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Got ourselves the set of Dagadars. Set 1, set 2, and set 3. We'll scroll across here, show you guys these Dagadars that make up these sets. As you can see here, Spot's got these two right here. This guy and this guy. The skull is kind of neat. There's a rhinoceros. I remember seeing him. I think I remember seeing him as well. I saw this one. This one looked a little uninteresting. There's set 2. An alien, a couple of varieties of different things. Ooh, I like the mummy. I like that one. That's kind of neat. Could have reviewed that, maybe that for uh, for Halloween. Down below, this guy's kind of neat too. This is set three. Set three. There's three sets apparently to this. It's on the back. Oh, set four, set five, and set six. Oh, that one's kind of reminds me of the Chicago Bulls. I like that one or the Rock. I really like that one. Um, I think I remember seeing this guy here as well. So I don't know how this works, that somehow Walmart had, I think, set one and set six somehow in the collection. Oh, this one looks like Jaws. As you can see, several thousands and thousands. Oh, this one looks like uh, Jason Voorhees. Seems to be like there's several thousands of Deg Degadars to collect. And uh, again, let me zoom the camera in here. I would say maybe get a good look at these guys because they're likely. I'm 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 already assuming these are going to get totally recalled. I can't even believe that they would release these. Why? Why spot? Why you ask? Well, first of all, let's have a look at these. They come with display stands, which is kind of neat. So if you got them on your display shelf, as it were. Why is the light so bright? I don't know blinding bright light today. 
Um, you can have them sitting on your shelf, which I like that. I think that works really, really well. Um, of the two that I got, I got one of them with a Fu Manchu mustache. He's got some horns and a crown. He looks kind of cool. I like him. On the back there is the Dagadar logo, as well as I guess as the number of in the collect in the collection. Maybe. He looks kind of cool though. Um, I also picked up this one here, which I didn't pick up. They were just paired that way. And uh, he looks kind of like Clank, Ratchet and Clank. I see it. I don't know if you guys see it, but he, I think he kind of looks like Clank. This one now, this one is 01010, which in binary means recall, totally recall. Why are you keep saying recall spot? Well, it doesn't rattle, but what it is is it's a rubber ball bearing. It's a rubber, kind of a rubberized ball, um, but inside is a metal bearing. Now, how can I compare this? How can I compare this to you that you guys would understand what I'm talking about? You know those, those what is it, Chinese uh, massage balls or those balls you can get in the little containers and they're metal, you know, and David Bowie had them, no? In, in most movies, whenever there's a Mafia guy, there's always one guy that spins those around. There's two metal balls. That's essentially what this is, but just it's a little more rubberized. Now, can you imagine, having just said that, can you imagine then, these get released... At some point, Billy is throwing these around the house or on that launcher that I was talking to you about on the package end. He's throwing this around and it either goes through a wall and leaves a hole in the wall uh, or it hits his sister in the face. Right in the face. Pfft, right in the face. And she starts crying. Oh my God. You know how incoherent children are sometimes when they cry. And then she runs to mom. Mom says, what happened in here? She runs in, what's going on in here? And Billy says, I was just throwing my day guitars. Instant recall, my friends. Because you know that mother, especially mothers now is nowadays, it's not enough that the child, the because back in the day, let me tell you, back in the day, in the 80s, a child probably would just get clobbered for it and then just say, don't be so stupid throwing stuff at your sister, and that would be the end of it. Not Nowadays, my friends, no, it's not enough. The parent has to contact the company, probably contact Walmart, contact the company that makes these, and goes out of her way, maybe even a lawsuit, who knows, because her son has now, and her daughter, emotional distress. They can't function in school. They can't function with friends anymore, all because of the Degadars. She writes in, lawsuits recall and that's I'm surprised I don't suspect these to be around very long they are very cool I mean they're you know they've got some weight to them as you can see but yeah guaranteed it's gonna happen it's just a matter of time you might as well enter this into the vault of obscurity because give it time my friends give it time you might read in the newspapers or these will just fall off the map and then this review will serve as a time capsule, a time capsule that you can go in and say, Dagadars. I don't remember Dagadars. And then one old man would say, I remember Dagadars. Back in the day, the spot review Dagadars. I don't know. Who knows? These are pretty neat, though. Ah, see, that gives you just an idea of how substantial these are. I mean, they're, they're very weighted as well. I mean, I'm not really good with weight. But I would say it's maybe about, hey, what's going on out there? Cat's playing. I'll probably give it, maybe it's like half a pound. I don't know. I'm not good with weight, but yeah. Can you imagine that making an impact with some child's face? Recall. But they're pretty neat. I wouldn't necessarily collect them all. Certainly knows. They're neat that they're standing on these little display stands, but if anything bangs and these fall down, I pity my, one of my poor cats that would be walking by, thump right on the head. And my poor kitty, I'd have to wake up. I'm sure they wouldn't be very happy having been clobbered by a Dagadar. Um, they roll as you would expect them to be, as they are balls and all. But the fact that they've got tracks that would only increase the speed of these, and they've got shooters, 
Plus, again, I don't know, you just need a gang of these in school, a gang of kids throwing these at kids. Yeah, lawsuits and recall. Anyways, today's collectible spot, a very strange collectible, again. We gotta shorten smokestacks on Optimus Prime because some kid's gonna poke his eyeball out. Yet somehow we can market ball bearings to children. It's one of those things where our spot just can't figure it out. It just makes no sense. But it could be just that I'm old and I just don't get it. Today's collectible spot though, we were having a look at Dagadar ball bearings. I know, I don't know either. I don't know. Thanks for watching guys as you always do. Stay tuned for more collectible spots. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.